Oh well, uh, so this is uh, my uh, will be my first attempt to use the uh, airbrush and uh, you know why not start by digging into some project that actually is something instead of you know blindly um, wander on some piece of uh, stuff so we'll have this um, passion play stuff going on in Paphos in church and um, um, well nobody asked me for that but I decided to add a little accent you know um, I will bring them the shield you know not a sword but the shield uh, I will make a you know Roman uh, shield at least something that looks like it and I did this um, spray stuff so for now it's just the base of it it's nothing too complicated it's just a plywood you know and the curved two pieces glued together so to make this curvature and uh, you know paint red spray over with this base stuff so now I'm gonna finish up it with uh, you know paint marker um, you know the de deco and then uh, I will try to use some airbrushing for uh, shades and so on so we will try that out all right it's a couple of hours later this is how they look uh, when i applied the marker on the edges and of course it's there is plenty of smudges over spray and you name it i just don't care enough you know it's it's not to be a piece of art it's not uh, you know trying to reproduce the original dimensions are off you know so on just to have to look as something so now we are going to do the boss um, you know um, this this metal part over here uh, to do that we will use these two pieces of plywood with drilled holes and a, a cut off uh, center part we take a piece of uh, <laughs> galvanized steel, you know, I mean, if you have a shield like that, you know, in the <laughs> Roman times, that would be the most technologically advanced weapon ever, you know, worthless, but most advanced. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, I will show you through how it works. Okay, so right now I'm going to make the boss. And how you make it? Well, basically, as I said, it's screwed between two pieces of plywood. Nothing is straight. <laughs> and um, now we are going to beat the hell out of it, you know. I'm using my homemade uh, metal working tool. It's a basically a leg of a chair i think no sorry it's a post from an umbrella a uh, big one and um, it looked a little bit better a few whacks ago but you know basically we're going to whack it until it will uh, look like we want i really suggest to use this one at first because it nicely dents it and stretches it and then finish up with the uh, rounder part. The last part of walking I like to do actually in the air without um, placing it on the um, on anything because that gives quite a lot of uh, let's say control over not hitting something and you know then take it into wrong direction okay nice so this is how it looks right after taking out from the form so what i'm going to do right now is to just cut off those parts with the bones around it and drill a new holes 
for the handle and then I will come back to you okay so the next step is to adding some edging uh, best would be to make it from steel but I'm kind of lazy to do that I have a you know my DIY bender so I probably could make this these rims around it but as I said I'm lazy I just uh, uh, cut out some uh, artificial leather really poor quality but uh, you know it, it will do the trick you know it just has to look as something and it will never be used even for uh, you know uh, remote reimagining re re of any uh, fight so you know it's it's ab absolutely um, fine with with whatever I will put that uh, actually whatever I will put that put on that so um, next part would be to wait until the glue will dry and go with the other half of it um, maybe a little tip you know this uh, tiny clamps that you see over here it's actually uh, sections of a pipe a pvc pipe that i you know cut uh, five millimeters to ten millimeters um, sections cut them in half and they do excellent as a you know a number of tiny clamps you can actually regulate the tension by cutting them a little bit narrower or thicker um, it's a very very good trick for uh, you know gluing uh, something that uh, requires you know a lot of um, points of, of, of uh, uh, pressure okay so this is uh, untreated let's say uh, decor on the, the shield and this is how it looks after let's say adding some shading and so on i think it looks a little bit better a little deeper more you know uh, jumping out from the uh, background because i want to take it tomorrow to the uh, to the rehearsal um, yeah, I think I didn't show you the handles, uh, you know, basically everything is held on two bolts and the handle is just, uh, you know, cut out from a piece of wood because I think, I think it was uh, uh, two by four or um, four by four, I don't remember. Um, in any case, they are quite light, you know, if that was the real thing, it would weigh at least three times as much. And will be bigger but those are going to be handled by uh, like 13 14 years old so you know it's it's a good size for them yeah that's it um, more videos coming soon